Hi guys, Sean back with another pirate mod video for you and today I will go over uh, how to make some paracord sleeving for your extension cables. Um, what I've got here is a 24 pin cable that I've been working on and you can see I've already got a lot of it already done. Um, you can see that it, it came out really nicely and I'm going to go ahead and show you what I did to get that effect. Uh, tools you'll need is a, like a lighter, a pair of scissors, and then this is just a rod that I've got that I pre-measured the length of my cables. And then I put a marker on this rod so that way when I pull out my paracord there the pieces are uniform length and uh, we'll have a nice end product. So uh, I'll get started and show you what I did. Uh, so here's the rod and then you just take your paracord line it up on one end, pull it nice and tight, and then just cut it off there. We'll do a couple pieces like this, and then we'll go ahead and get started um, actually putting the sleeving on the cables. Uh, this is a very simple way to do it. Um, you don't have to use any heat shrink, um, and the actual paracord itself is really easy to work with. And uh, you'll see what I mean when we get started. So we're done with that. Put that over to the side. Here we've got a few pieces <clears throat> that are ready. And uh, you see the white cords inside? We just want to pull those out. Set those off to the side. And uh, just be really careful around the edge, the ends that you cut. <clears throat> because this stuff frays pretty easily. You want to avoid it fraying too much. So we've got our cable here. And uh, we need to get the cable through the paracord and uh, just like this it's really difficult because there's tabs and whatnot on here that'll snag on the paracord on the inside and uh, it'll leave a really ugly look. Uh, it'll get all snagged up and it just won't look very nice. So you have to protect the inside of the paracord with something. And I made this little bullet out of a piece of heat shrink that I can slide over the end and it's reusable. You know some people just uh, wrap the end with tape and slide it through or whatnot, but uh, that wastes a lot of tape so this way I could just slide it in there and it'll go through the paracord really easily as you can see and then you just work it through and then when this is done I could just take that little uh, end bullet piece that I made and take it off and use it on the next one so there we go we just slide that off and uh, we got another, we got a cable ready to go. We'll go ahead and do one more. And then we'll get started. Uh, you can see it's not very difficult. And uh, I think the uh, end product is well worth the effort that it takes to get these uh, extension cables sleeved with paracord. Uh, the end result is a fantastic looking cable. And uh, the nice thing about paracord is uh, it comes in all kinds of different colors. I mean you can find just about any color you want. Uh, that you can mix and match colors and make custom cables that match the, the color theme of your build. So it's a really it's a great option to do and it's a lot higher quality than those sleeved cables you can buy at the store. So what you do here is you just uh, pull this up around the neck piece of the cable and uh, the idea is just to melt the end around this sleeve and then be able to pull it nice and tight. So we'll line it up with the base of the, the metal connector. And then we'll just melt that down. And then you want to form it into a, a tapered shape towards the top of the connector. So as, you're, as you melt the paracord, you want to just pull it out like so. And that will give you a nice tapered effect around the end. And it will hold the uh, paracord nice and tight. Uh, try to be cautious not to get too much around the tabs here. Otherwise it will make it difficult to snap into the connector. Especially in the middle portion of these tabs. So you can see that that's tight. It's not going anywhere. So we're just going to pull it nice and tight and uh, we'll get the other end done. Pull it a little bit tighter here and uh, we get this all the way up around the base again and then you just do the same thing. You just melt the end, 
form it around the, the neck. Pull it nice and tight again before we finish off. And uh, so you can see here it's, it's a very easy process. It doesn't take a whole lot of time to do. And uh, here you end up with some really nice cables. And uh, I'll go ahead and snap this one in. This I've already been working on this 24 pin. As you can see here, so we'll just uh, see how it fits. Make sure everything goes in nice and tight. Um, you'll be able to hear a, a little snap when this thing goes in. I don't know if you'll be able to hear it on camera, but uh, in real life, if you're sitting here next to it, you're going to hear it snap into place a little quick. And uh, you can see it's nice and tight. And uh, same thing with this side. Just uh, snap it in. You'll hear it click. And it'll be nice and tight. And then you can see here, got a nice tight paracord sleeving. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, I'll uh, come back with another video and I'm going to show you some tricks on taking these apart. If you want to sleeve your power supply, how to get these connectors off really easily. Uh, without buying any special tools or anything. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue on with this and then I'll come back and I'll show you the final product. Alright, All right, I'm back. I decided that I want to go ahead and just uh, do a couple more uh, just to see so you guys can see see me doing it. Uh, so I'll just do a couple more on camera and uh, just, just so that you can get the idea of how easy it actually is. It doesn't take much time at all. I won't chat too much during this, so you'll just uh, sit back and watch me work. You can see here I've got one that's it's a little bit, uh, giving me a little bit of trouble. So uh, we'll just put this off to the side and then we can come back to it. Uh, so far since I've been doing this I've done uh, an 8 pin, a couple 6 pins. Every once in a while I come up with one like that where it's just a little bit difficult. Uh, just come back through, make sure the tabs are popped out, uh, reform the uh, ends and uh, it usually goes in without a problem. Uh, so I'll go ahead and just do another one here and now uh, you guys can sit back and watch again. There we go. Nice and tight in there. Uh, I'm going to come back and I'm going to revisit this one. I'm going to melt this end a little bit more. See if we can't get it fixed. I think it's this corner here. Let's cut that piece off. Let's see if that fixed it. <clears throat> Make sure our tabs are popped out good enough too so that way it can catch. There, see, now it went in. There's just a little piece of plastic on the tab that got a little too high. I just melt it away, take it off. Nothing big. You see, it's pretty easy. I've only got a few more to do, and uh, I'll be done with this. 
So uh, I'll come back and uh, show you the finished product and then I'll uh, show you some of the tools that I use.